Okay, so we, we have uh, created and finalized the concept of what we call a digital village. And that uh, includes three components. The one is uh, education, the second one is health, and the third one is what we call business enablement. Um, if I can drill down on, on a few of them, what you see on the one side is a, a complete school which is solar driven. I can deploy that school anywhere in Africa. Uh, I have no dependency on internet connectivity, I have no dependency on electricity, and I can run a complete school uh, in, in the middle of nowhere. Um, so we're really giving now the right levels of education to rural communities. Uh, the project is sustainable and it's proven itself. We've now just uh, uh, initiated a, a new project which is the telemedical center and uh, we're addressing two specific issues. The first one is the lack of doctors in rural areas and the second one is that patients that are in rural areas tend to wait hoping that the diseases go away. Unfortunately they don't go away and uh, the diseases get worse and worse. So we can now analyze the complete uh, patient on an application. This data that's been captured by a nurse then gets sent over the internet. The doctors can be anywhere in the world. The doctors will analyze the information and come back uh, to this particular telemedical center over the internet and advise on treatment and the prescription. Um, we can even go as far as to set up a video conference with that particular patient and a doctor anywhere in the world. So we're now addressing the issue that we can use the resources that a particular country has very effectively, namely that the doctors can be in one partic particular central area and address the rural environments. Uh, and then the last point is uh, a solar power generator. Uh, and imagine a diesel generator, throw your diesel generator away because uh, it, 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 it's noisy, it cannot run for 24 hours a day, it needs diesel, it needs servicing, um, and it's not green. And we have a, a diesel generator a replacement, which is what we call the solar power generator. Uh, it uh, runs for 24 hours a day, it needs no maintenance whatsoever, it's quiet, it's green technology, and we can actually monitor the performance remotely. And that comprises now of our digital village. Uh, imagine a school, imagine a telemedical center, and imagine a solar power generator in a, in a rural area. And this is really where we are adding a lot of uh, value to a digital village. We're changing people's lives in rural Africa. Okay, so this is the inside of the solar powered internet school. We can uh, seat 24 students very comfortably. We can go up to 32 students. This container is designed to sit in the direct sunlight because it is solar driven and I'm sure you'll agree with me that it's actually very pleasant in here because of the insulation, we have air reticulation. Um, the content is actually stored on a server in the back of the classroom so I don't need to have uh, uh, dependency on connectivity and you see behind me a, a whiteboard, an electronic board which um, is completely interactive teaching with the students. So the students each have a notebook and what is shown on the board is also shown on their screen. The teacher can manage each and every student individually and track their performance. This particular school is designed in such a way that I can deploy it in a rural area within less than a day. We put a lot of planning in this from a sustainability point of view. So behind you you have an IP camera and we can monitor the camera from any remote area in the world as long as it has a connection. If the teacher wishes to give the students connectivity, they simply need to switch it on and we can then give each and every student uh, internet connectivity as well. Uh, if they are more elderly students, then they can do research uh, on, on the net, etc. in terms of projects as well, as opposed to using libraries. Uh, and this is also one of the, uh, the benefits of having a school like this in a rural area. Right, so this is one of the rooms of our telemedical center. Um, the this is the, the last room. The patient would have been taken through the last three rooms. Uh, we have an application which is designed specifically for the telemedical center and this prompts the nurse to do ear testing, eye testing, BMI, vital signs, ultrasound, uh, ECGs, uh, blood tests, etc. And all that data is captured onto the uh, application which is on a Samsung Galaxy tab. That information then gets sent out over the internet. The doctors can be anywhere. They will analyze the information it then comes back to this particular telemedical center. It's printed out in one of the rooms. Uh, the doctor can also request a visual of the particular patient. The patient would be lying down here and the doctor would appear on the screen behind you. This is our video conference facility. It also has a mobile camera, which then the nurse can utilize to actually specifically look at the patient. And if there's an ultrasound that is required, the nurse can also point the camera to the ultrasound machine and the doctor can advise as to what needs to be done. If there's an emergency, 
the doctor can also prompt the nurse uh, remotely as to exactly what needs to be done and all the equipment here is uh, Samsung equipment.